What's up guys, Mary Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. And everyone's here, I believe. We Except lost... Ace. Except Ace, yeah. Actually, we haven't mentioned Ace at all until then. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised. <laughs> Sorry, Ace. Well, I just hope he doesn't watch it. Yeah, just, just hope he doesn't watch it. <laughs> but he, he will be represented on Boris's thumbnail anyway. Yes, we can <laughs> yeah. line through it. Line through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ace couldn't make this weekend, but he'll be back with us for next weekend. And I know he's doing uh, his own single player stuff on the server as well, so. Yeah, he's working single player stuff. So, is that Boris driving that ship? Nope, that's yeah. me. Just... Right, unless you want it back. <laughs> No, no, not oh, at all. Yeah. I'm just doing the detail things. Just be careful. With, it's a bit overpowered on its forward thrust. Yes, so you it is. A bit <laughs> it very much is. <laughs> but it has all the components to rebuild the drills in its cargo container. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah, I like that strategy of yours. That makes so much sense. I've found myself caught with not enough to fix a ship that got damaged. And Sal keeps coming to my rescue, actually. <laughs> I think I figured out what my issue is with my why I feel lag in Space Engineers, actually. I think it's OBS. It must be a yeah. setting I have because my connection was fine, but the moment I started recording, it's back to how it was before. Oh, maybe. Maybe something. OBS is doing something wrong. Just need to look into that. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. You can share settings. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I have something wrong. Maybe with its like bit rate or something. Because Space Engineers for me is the most stable thing I record. Yeah, Space Engineers is probably the most unstable thing I record. Let's go back over to this. That doorway looks pretty cool, though. Yeah, you like, that? like that. Yeah. When you added the second side, that really made the difference. Yeah, it's bring it really together. I did something right. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> 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 Yeah, it is pretty easy to dent, dent things in this ship. <laughs> yeah. I take back everything I said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this baby. Ooh, yeah, I do like that. Yeah, that, that ship's very much a resource gathering ship rather than a a fine detailing thing. It actually looks, with the door closed, it kind of looks a bit imposing. <laughs> it does a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. I think mean, that was a good choice on the yellow, too. That's something yeah. that I always end up going back to because all of the components, have uh, the, the, yeah, like the textures for the components have, yeah, you can't change that, which is a bit annoying when you really want to do something without the yellow. Yeah. Yeah, like if it you would be choose nice the yellow actually, highlight, you yeah. That highlight mm. color. Like a blue conveyor, that kind of thing. I guess they'd have to add a like a secondary color paint. Yeah, they'd have to to yeah. make it so you can edit that. So Keen, I know since already. you're watching this, you watch everything yeah, yeah. that we do, so you, you should do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he's I mean, watching. <laughs> yeah, they're totally watching. Painting is already tedious enough, so you might as well make it yeah, make yeah. it more tedious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
Alright, so there, I just I smoothed out the back a bit. Oh, Jay Sano 19's playing Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Thanks for the update, Steam. Uh, energy, energy ship. Oh, that probably okay. should. Oh, where's oh, my bucker? Over there. That's right. Full suit. Oh, I'm out of. I'm using the blue ship as lighting back here. <laughs> yeah, oh. it works really well for that. <laughs> yep. I uh. So you Ooh. place in the floor now, Boris. Yep. Right. I've uh, finished destroying it. Yeah. So that's a good thing to remember too, as we're planning this out. We have to make sure that there's enough room everywhere to put lights. Yes. It might not be as big of a problem for you guys, but if you ever do switch over, you're, it's going to be black. I don't think so. Yeah. I can switch over due to the whole boot camp thing for Mac. Oh. I maybe. don't know. I don't know if that's cross compatible with boot camp yet. Oh. Lighting's going to be a problem then. Um, the middle of the floors are going to be dark. We can run some lights along the floors and the ceilings, but anywhere in between is going to be dark. You have the same problem in Minecraft. If you build a room that's too big, yeah, the center's always yeah, always dark. Or well, if you can't avoid it, you can't avoid it really. Yeah, because with this big building, build it's gonna be dark. Just means that um, there's gonna be opportunities to scare the crap out of people using DX11. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take advantage of that. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I'd also like to try is um, anything that would help performance-wise, like uh, with lights, uh, we'll have sensors everywhere we can so that the lights turn off when you leave the room. That'd, um, be, that'd be good. Assemblers and that sort of thing will shut down when there's no one present. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how useful that one would be. Maybe a toggle to turn the base on and off other than essential stuff. Yeah. That, that's how I'm going to be planning my base, like from start to finish, is making sure that everything, like both just to save power, so I can like use solar power more efficiently. Right. Um, and yeah, just so that <laughs> spotlights aren't on, so whenever someone flies past, their frame rate drops, that kind of thing. I'm we want this to be accessible enough for people to come to. Now I just had a. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm going to come weld. Oh yes, it's going to be a bit yes. of that. Yes, yeah, I was just about to start doing that. So, alright, let's start this. That ends. I've never known anyone play scaffolding quite as fast as Boris. I know, huh? Yeah, for someone that, you know, like, as well as with your ping, still places that super fast. Well, I think that's why, because he's gotten used to no, like placing, knowing it's not going to be there, and just keeps going anyway, and then it all just appears, it just appears later. So, yeah. so he's just gotten used to the fact that he just places and assumes it'll show up where he thinks he placed it eventually. <laughs> Is that right, Boris? Yeah, apart from... It's, it's instantaneous at the moment, but um, apart from those invisible blocks that I've been running into, where mm. I place a block and it just doesn't show up, <laughs> but it's still there. They're, they're really annoying. Oh, uh, the that cell, right? The blue one. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. uh, would you mind backing up just a tiny bit, please? Uh, please. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I, I'm thinking I'm going to have to take the. This is Nordic Beast's ship. 
uh, Nordic Beast likes his landing gears on. I've noticed he yeah. has quite a few landing gears, but I'm gonna. If you can Thanks. stop for a second, please, Mary. Oh. I'll, I'll take the landing gears off. Oh, okay. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but you're welding and then the landing gears are scraping behind you and you're just sort of ripping <laughs> up the floor. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Oh, actually, that should be one higher. Landing gears are so dangerous on multiplayer anyway. I it's the one of the first things I do is get rid of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he refuses. <laughs> He's, they will work. <laughs> one day. <laughs> oh wait, no, maybe this is my fault. What? I think I chose the wrong slope. Yeah, that's the smooth slope. Ah, that's annoying. That's oh, so the it's one breaking that does the deforming. Yeah. Because for some reason they thought a block that deformed would be smart just without touching it yeah I, I understand that they wanted it to be like a smooth so you could round things off but that's not really how it works <laughs> it just it just jags so you end up with <laughs> it zigs when it should have zagged yeah and this is something that if I was developing the game I'd say no that's not ready let's not include that yet because that just makes us look like idiots <laughs> <laughs> and now we're hoping Keen really isn't watching us. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to express your feelings somehow. That's right. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. We say what we're going to say no matter what, but because obviously we like the game enough to play it as much as we do. I uh, know. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> But at the same time, it's like anything that you play this much, there's going to be things that you find annoying. But yeah, I really it's would like, like um, the stuff that they've already added to the game actually work. Yeah. <laughs> it's like moving in with someone. <laughs> you, you obviously like them enough to move in with them. But when you do, you find out all these annoying things. Are you, are you trying to tell us, tell us something about sound? <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't. I couldn't help, but <laughs> that, that was just you gave that to me. Yeah. I believe that's the definition of out of context. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and just for people who view this series and may not view any of the other series, the reason. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Talking about Lair <laughs> is that um, I I don't like building bases because uh, I can't. Um, Boris doesn't like building ships because he can't. Well, he can, but he can't. Um, and so <laughs> Boris is building a, sh a base for me to keep my ships in so that he can use my ships. Um, what was it? Use them and crash them? Yeah, At will? Much. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Um, and uh, well, I'm building lots of ships. Let's say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. I'm not really keeping up with uh, the whole place to put them thing. <laughs> Instead, I'm ordering more from Nordic Beast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I don't want to spoil too much, but I, it, it's too good to not share. He, yeah. He's currently. At least I hope he's currently building me the Postman Pat van. Yeah, that was awesome. I sent him my request too. I didn't <laughs> that. Uh, on the same video. Yeah, on the same video. I, I sent him a picture of what I want mine to look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't go back and check for any more, so I'll go no, back. I haven't seen your comment on that one either. So it's not a spoiler because these videos are already out. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I assume you did want this lot welding, Anubis. Uh, sure. If I did it wrong, then I'll uh, undo it later. That's that's the thing I do as well, it seems. <laughs> uh, how do I... That goes... Uh, 
those. They are connected with those, so they should be these here. We've been doing reasonably well for not killing each other. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Surprisingly. Yeah, yeah. Considering the amount of um, potential for killing each other, running around with welders while someone's placing blocks. Oh, did I do this? Darn it. I did these. Oh, wait. I did these ones. Okay. Back it up. Uh, back yep. it up. Okay. Um, what did I do here? Mary, uh -huh. uh, I've placed blocks underneath that need to be welded up. Uh, so see this like lip that, line. that runs yep. along here. Yeah, if you like weld that, it should disappear. Okay. Hopefully. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So what did I do wrong here? So there should be on. I think that's going to need a color to. One two three. Break up that slope. That's right. Okay, so these need the. Oh, can you point that light at me? Thanks. <laughs> it was literally pitch black. I could not see a thing. Well, what What's the difference now? Because they, I noticed in the last update they turned off. Um, I forget the name for it in DirectX 11, but that uh, where the light changes, so it's like your eyes are adapting. Oh, gamma thingy. Yeah, but the the settings. Yeah, that, that exactly thingy. that. As, prof as the professionals but, uh, call it. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if that'll make any difference. Well, I've, I'm I've actually that'll... still noticed that happening, I thought. Like, I'll, I'll be... Or maybe not, I don't know. Like, I'll be in a... Uh, looking in at an asteroid hole. And then I'll go in and I'll get super black and I'll keep going and I'll stop. And, uh, and then all of a sudden it'll get lighter. Like, very, yeah. very slowly. So I don't know. Yeah. I'm just not into the whole darkness moody business because I like today I'm playing in in a bright room. Um so if if the background was any darker I wouldn't be able to see it. Oh I, I don't mind it from a yeah, from a role play perspective, because it's in space. If you're on the other side of an asteroid it's gonna be pitch black. Mm. Um yeah, so I, I like the idea that you'd have to build lights. You know, lights become an essential part of survival. Um, and, you know, light ships are a thing now. <laughs> uh, ships dedicated purely to light. Well, light. something we probably need to build, yeah. Yep. So I don't mind it from that perspective. From recording, it's terrible. <laughs> and, it's yeah, a... if you've got a problem with light, yeah. As my viewers right now are probably going, Why it's so dark. <laughs> Sorry, I'll turn the lights back on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know what? I think I have to build a light ship. That's what I need to do next. And you know what? Maybe I should uh, retrofit Wheatley to be a light ship. Uh, Mary, am I flying through a block at the moment? There's no block there like, on my is there a... Okay. Because I can't place one, so I was assuming it was an invisible one. Pitch black. <laughs> I can't place one there, so there's just going to be a missing block. Okay. <laughs> Out of some sort of materials. Um, I'm guessing so. Oh, girders! You don't have any girders. Oh, and I just. Sorry, did I just weld you? Yeah, you welded me. You're out of. You're completely out of girders. Uh, there's a whole right. bunch on the ugly berry. Yeah. I'll have to take my uh, lights away to go and refill. Well, I just I, I have to build the lights in there. I need to put some lights on the bars and stuff. They, all they need is construction components, so I'll just start placing a bunch where... And if I need to remove them in later, they're easy to remove anyway. Okay, the ugly bar is over there. Oh, yeah, connecting, um, connecting ships to the ugly bar is not the easiest. No, I, that, that's one thing I, I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you can't tow anything either there because the um, thrusters are right behind it, so they just disintegrate your ship. Didn't didn't really plan that through very well. <laughs> we weren't really thinking about. We're gonna have to do something no. about the entrance to this, like like somehow wrap it into the asteroid or something, because it's uh it does stick out quite a bit now. 
Yeah, and especially with the roof on as well, the other other floor huh. uh, up the top. That's going to be a big cube. So the outside's going to need some aesthetic work, like on the top. Right. Like a big, a big uh, tower of turrets. Yeah, in case the asteroid, right. the, in case the meteors appear, and to keep the NPC ships at bay. Yeah. Well, hopefully they won't come this far in. I think they stay mostly away from zero zero zero. Yeah. Anyway, that being said, I think that's the end of the episode as well. Oh, welcome to Pitch Blackness. I hope everybody likes Pitch Black. There, that's the end of my episode. <laughs> uh, maybe we should because this is the last session for the day isn't it yes it yep. is yeah so maybe we should have a quick look at what everyone else I suppose oh, yeah, Sal yeah. and Mary know I was just going to have a quick look at what Anubis is doing okay can somebody point the lights over here um, <laughs> <laughs> where, where's the me, uh, are you still in the blue ship yeah, no I've you. got the blue ship all the way over uh, by the ugly barrier I was just about to uh, conjoin them uh. Can't you turn your that, Anubis, your internal light on? There. Oh, do I not have that? Oh, I died, right. Damn it. Oh, I I've can't been, get into wow, this. Wow, I've been done being stupid this whole time. <laughs> uh, we can probably turn this light up. Have, did you turn the lights up? I'm, tur I'm, I'm placing lights right now. And I haven't turned them up yet, but I will. I can't get into this cockpit. Oh, as I would do that right now. Uh, interior lights. Let's just go radius up a bit, intensity up a bit. Oh, I oh. just go radius all the way. The intensity might make it a bit like a whiteout. <laughs> well, that looks all right, I think. Yeah, yeah. I like this and the the double. It does look yeah. really good, actually. Still a work in progress, but yeah. So like this, obviously, this seat is going to move. But yeah. the idea was that. These little areas on the side here were going to be little office like places where people would come in. There'd be reception or security, maybe, maybe information on one side and security on the other. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good way of doing it. Right, and, and then add, and then another set of doors right here. And this will be airtight doors as well. Yeah, so the same idea, oh, airtight doors. I just I like the idea of having the air ducts come in from above, and having like two big air ducts come down and make them visible from the outside. Yeah. So this inside, okay. sorry for taking over, I just had an idea. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so the the wall would be inset up the top, but these two massive pipes coming down to the roof to supply the air, even if they don't actually supply it. I like the idea of the look of it. Anyway, sorry. Uh, and, and yeah, that, who is, that is. So who is next? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's, well, really that's, all, that's all this is. Cause like, well, that's what this area is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've all uh, been working together. So yeah, because like it's it's, it's still quite tight knit. And, and then there's all this. Well, this. actually, Boris, is, I haven't seen this yet. What Boris has been doing out here? Holy. Um, none of it's coloured. When it's coloured, it should look better. Yeah. Wow, that's actually so really is, cool looking. So this is the small ship docking area. Yes. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Should have space for twelve. Uh, little ships. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, six on each side. Mm -hmm. And each of those holes, right? Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. need to be dug out and, mm -hmm. you know, properly done. It's coming along, though. I think it's coming along quite nicely. Yeah. Is... Yeah, the digging will take a while, though. Can I have this one? <laughs> <laughs> She's already making this. Already claiming. It's like, <laughs> that one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how this works. <laughs> Yeah, that is how this works. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Nice cells. Oh. You gotta put a sign there. <laughs> okay. Oh, the gravity change thing. I didn't think about that. Where's that going? Well, if it's supposed to be I mean, up here, will... we'll have to have a gravity generator on the top and on the bottom, right? So that when yeah. you get out of your ship, pe people are definitely going to fly. No one's going to bother with it. But yeah, role play reasons. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'll use it. I think it's cool. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, then you'll have to have some way like that you come down the front here and then it, yeah. or maybe I, down I the middle. Even. Yeah. 
Like, oh. I mean, if you walk down the middle, like, have a... I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Yeah. Oh, well. This is where, the you're right, the door is probably too close. <laughs> uh, so. uh, yeah, we'll, we'll work yeah. something out. All right, cool. Well, <laughs> we'll call that it then, I guess. I guess so. Yep. A little All bit right. longer one for you guys, so enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well that's it for the episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all have an awesome day. We'll see you all in another time, so catch you later, guys. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.